Hey guys, this is Galactomarine501 slash Jackson Wolfaxia, and I woke up about 20 minutes ago. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, I want to show you guys. I talked about this before. I busted up the Akatsuki, my Akatsuki, and I was really sort of devastated about that. I mean, the head wouldn't, just the head wouldn't have been that bad. Like, because I am going to get the the Owashi sometime in the future. But one of the Dragoons also broke. And I, at first I was like, oh crap. Then I started to try to be optimistic in saying that I just modify it to make it look normal. And say that it was this one. That this one was shorter for some reason. Then I realized that it was the one that needs to go onto this peg. So... It had to be elongated, and so anyway, I went in with the super glue, and I had noticed this. I had glued the head. I had noticed there was like a little silver spot right under the ear, so I was thinking, uh-oh, was that the super glue that I'm using? So then I pulled off the chest plate on the Akatsuki, did a little test, patch right there you can see it and it was the super glue so it kind of up the ante for me a bit in that I needed to get it just right in order to make it look good and the head connection see in there there's a little black line that's where the break was one of the side fins came off the head connection is good that was I have to say, the head connection was like a two-minute fix, and I was worried as heck about that. And so... Crit. And then the V-fin fits back on. Good. So the head is perfect again. I still have to reassemble the chest. I, I want to make sure all that super glue is dry, though. And the Dragoon. The Dragoon, here it is. You can see the crack line a bit. There, you can see it. I mean, it's worse in real life. I mean, I can see it. But, I mean, for either doing this or having a broken Akatsuki that I couldn't do anything with, I, I'll take this any day. There. And it still locks onto the backpack. Good as always. And actually, you know what? I'll do the Akatsuki review right after this video. Just to get that done. In case I accidentally break this again. I'm going to get the Awashi, so maybe I'll just combine so that, so that I have a good head. And only the Dragoon is an issue. And this is, um... By the way, before you say, um... That I'm only buying girl Gundams, this is not a girl Gundam. This is actually Neo Roanoke's Gundam. I, I don't know why, but I really like Neo Roanoke. He's... I like his helmet. It's pretty cool looking. I'll put this guy back together so you can see him in all his splendor. And when I say splendor, I mean splendor. I really want to, you know, actually, I'll do something before I do the review. I'm going to paint the shield. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, and I don't have my computer plugged in this time, so... Yep, the screen just went dark, but I think I'm still recording. If you can always hear my voice, sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, there it is. Fully reassembled. The um, Shiran Wiyakazuki. My favorite kit of all time. And I don't actually have all the accessories. I'll get those together tomorrow and do the review. So, yeah. 
I'll finish up the shield, maybe a little painting on this guy. I want to do the painting on the shield because it's really, really plain with just the gold. I'm at least going to do the black in this turn. So yeah, I may leave the cross gold. I'll check, see what I can do. So I'll see you guys. I really want to do the really ornamental beam saber handles, but they're too small. And I think I lost one or both of them. <laughs> I have the double still, so I can use that. I'll see you guys.